Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Art Nouveau with your host Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Now thank you for joining me on what is actually my 101st video here on YouTube. I know it's kind of crazy right? Um, hopefully you saw my last little video where I celebrated 100 videos on YouTube with my Leilani Joy blooper reel or as one of my viewers cleverly called it, the many looks of Leilani Joy. And actually, as I was going through all my footage, I was like, wow, I really like look different in every video. And honestly, like if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a theatrical person. And um, I, think, I think honestly, it's because I've had to bottle it up for so many years. Um, I've mentioned before that in high school and, and like a lot of college actually I was like very shy and I really wanted to try new things I would sometimes wear weird stuff to school and I was kind of that artsy weird girl and people would be like what are you wearing so you know for so many years I kind of had to hold it back and now I'm just like I'm gonna do whatever I want and be who I am Today I'd say I'm channeling a little Angelica Houston maybe, definitely some PJ Harvey. I, I love PJ Harvey. If you guys don't know who PJ Harvey is, go look her up. Like I'm kind of like doing her look today. But anyway, you guys came to see some art today, so let's get started on that. Um, for my next piece, I'm going to be continuing my Muses series. And a lot of you guys have been giving me some great suggestions for the series and stuff. Um, but I just, I wanted to make a little note about sort of what Muses means, at least to me. Um, and I think Muses is kind of a personal thing. So I think it's kind of different for everyone. Your, your Muses are going to be different than my Muses. And um, for my series, I'm kind of focusing on um, female characters or, you know, goddesses and, and real people too that sort of have influenced me or touched my style or in some way made an impression on me. And um, it's really kind of a cool way to pay homage to um, all these um, females that have influenced me because that's basically all I paint, right? Sorry about it. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing one of my longtime muses, and that's Ophelia from Shakespeare's Hamlet. And um, I, ever since I read Hamlet in college, um, well, I'm not going to say how long ago. Okay, I will. Uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago, I was in my first year of college, and I read Hamlet. And um, there's a passage in there, if you're not familiar with it, where Gertrude is explaining how o Ophelia dies. And it's just such a beautiful, like, poem, really. And um, when we were reading that in class, I was, like, doodling in my notebook, because that's how I always was. And I ended up creating this little um, uh, colored pencil, I think it was, colored pencil drawing. And I really wanted to revisit this theme now that um, I actually have some more art skills and see how far I've come and redo a piece that I've already done. And this might be a really good exercise for you guys to, to actually see how far you've come in, in developing your art skills and stuff. So take a piece that you did, one that you thought was good at the time, and redo it and think of it in a totally new way. Like it's a really great way to challenge, you, to challenge yourself artistically. Um, but anyway, when I was putting this video together, I, I have this song, I have this one song, like my, my sister will laugh at me, because I have this one song that was like my go-to, like, cry in your room, sad song, like, in high school. I, I cried a lot, no, well, a little bit, okay? <laughs> But anyways, I, I loved it, and I really feel like it embodied um, Ophelia and like the, the theme of this painting. But I can't use the song on my video because, you know, I'm, I'm doing it all legally now, and I'm doing royalty-free music and stuff. Um, but I really do wish that I could play the song while I paint this. So if you want to go ahead and take the initiative, um, the song I'm talking about is called Flow by the band Transistor. Uh, yeah, there it is. And it really, it was kind of also an inspiration for this painting. So yeah, so if you want to play it with it, you can. Otherwise, I've also selected a very nice piece of music to accompany it. But anyway, let's get started today. And I'm going to start off by showing you guys some very classic renditions of Ophelia. Obviously, she has been depicted in a lot of artwork over the years, and I really um, want to take a look at what's out there and challenge myself artistically to kind of put a new spin on it and put my own creativity, my own style, and interpret her in a new way. So that'll be really fun, so let's get started. 
So I've gathered up some of my favorite Ophelia inspirations to share with you guys, and I'm sure a lot of these look quite familiar to you. Um, Waterhouse, in particular, loved this subject so much that he actually did three different paintings of Ophelia. And, you know, since this character was written centuries ago, there was a lot of great reference to draw from. And I really liked checking out some of the more modern interpretations and seeing artists put their own styles into them, which is what I ultimately want to do, too. Um, I also came across some really fabulous fashion photography inspired by Ophelia. And one of these photographs in particular I've had in my image file for years and years, and I just love it. I think I found it on DeviantArt long ago. And I definitely want to sort of reference some of these beautiful colors and um, pay homage to this photograph as well. Now you'll see here that I accidentally deleted the very first stage of this painting, so it's already a little bit in progress here. Um, but I wanted to give you a tip about painting something that's going to appear underwater or under a translucent layer. So I started out by mixing a large amount of the base water color that I was going to use, this um, sort of teal blue, and made sure that I had plenty of that. And then everything that's going to be painted under the water line I'm going to mix a little bit of that base color into it. So it's going to appear that it has a tint mixed in. So with um, the hair, you'll see that I've mixed my base color with white to get that effect. decided that I want to incorporate some collage into this piece because I think I have some really nice large graphic areas and I love that sort of juxtaposition of large graphic shapes with more detailed areas and textures. So I'm going to add my paper and glaze this on with some matte medium and then I'm going to build up some acrylic paint on top of this so that it fits better with my color scheme. I'm also going to be doing some collage on the bouquet down below the water here which I'm also going to be using some paint on top of and doing some matte medium glazes with some of my blue watercolor so that they also appear that they're um, faded back and actually under the water. Okay guys, my Ophelia piece is almost finished now, and before I show you how she turned out, just want to say thank you for watching, hope you're subscribing and sharing me with your friends, and um, this piece will be available for purchase right after this video, and I do offer payment plans, you guys, so remember, I have payment plans, um, and I also offer limited edition canvas reproductions of all my paintings that are a little bit more affordable. I can have them framed for you, there are limited editions of 10 that are all signed and numbered, and of course, I will have regular G-Clay prints available as well. 
And as usual, as my new little thing that I'm doing, um, the first 10 11 by 14 prints that are sold of Ophelia today will include a little prize pack and a signed and doodled postcard from me to you. So remember to go over to my Etsy store right after this video and pick up a print or buy the original if you want or get a canvas reproduction. Well, I can't wait to see you guys on the next episode because I have some really exciting things that are coming up and I cannot wait to share them with you. One of them is, if you don't already know about it, I'm doing a collaboration fan project with all of you guys. And last week you guys voted and the winning concept was chosen that I will be doing the thumbnails for very soon. So stay tuned for updates on that. Um, be sure that you're following my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Instagram so you can stay up to date on all the ongoings of the fan collab project. I definitely need your input along the way, so make sure that you're staying tuned to those things. Okay guys, well that's it for me, and I hope you enjoy my Ophelia piece, and I will see all of you guys very soon. I'm still here, but that's because I have to show you the finished piece before you guys go. Um, the other day, I actually just happened to find this frame, and I kind of kind of geeked out because it was just so perfectly fitting for her. And I really hope she finds a good home soon because, I mean, look how sad she is. She really, she'll be much happier if she finds a home with you. Okay, someone buy this. It's heavy. I don't want to hold it anymore. All right, see you guys on the next episode. Action. Action. Alright. Alright, cut. Wait. Alright, do it again. Action. Okay. Uh.